Welcome to this Specialty Products Company video presentation of the SPC Performance Series of Lower Control Arms. These tubular arms are a perfect fit for popular GM muscle cars and will lower your front end by one inch as well as add one degree of positive caster for an aggressive ready to run stance. A urethane spring insert is included with the control arm. Optional ride heights tuning kits are available for use with our Pro Series springs or standard type springs to raise the ride height if desired. These kits include spacers and a spring seat that can be used individually or in combination to attain the desired ride height. The urethane insert is not used when the aluminum spacer is used. Standard coil spring spacers, also available from Specialty Products Company, can add an extra option when adjusting ride height. Also available is a reinforcement spacer for use with adjustable coil over design shock absorbers. Working with compressed coil springs can be dangerous. Please follow all safety precautions associated with installing and adjusting this product. Start by removing the shock absorber from the vehicle. Now disconnect the stabilizer bar from the lower control arm. Support the frame of the vehicle with jack stands and support the lower control arm with a jack. Remove the lower ball joint cotter pin and castle nut. Break the taper on the ball joint using a ball joint separator tool. On certain applications it will be necessary to separate the upper ball joint from the upper control arm. Support and position the hub assembly out of the way. Loosen both lower control arm to frame bolts. Use an internal spring compressor if necessary. Now carefully lower the control arm. Now remove the spring from the vehicle. Completely remove the two bolts holding the control arm to the frame and remove the lower control arm. Prepare the new arm for installation by installing the three grease zerks. Now install the supplied bushing spacers. Install the arm into the vehicle using the stock bolts. Because of the type of bushing used, the mounting bolts can be completely tightened at this time. Install the coil spring up into the spring tower and position it in the lower control arm pocket.
With the spring properly positioned in both upper and lower spring pockets, raise the lower control arm to compress the spring or use an internal spring compressor. Reinstall the hub assembly to the upper and the lower control arms. Install the castle nuts and new cotter pins. Reinstall the stabilizer bar and link assembly. The stock Jounce bumper can be reused or a new style bumper also available from specialty products can be installed. Reinstall the shock absorber. If rebound travel is limited because of the lowered spring pocket, one option is to mount the shock internally inside the spring and or use spacers to control the amount of suspension travel. This option works well when used in conjunction with the upper adjustable control arm. Make sure to grease the new control arm bushings and ball joint. 